Simon. Sure. What are you making? I'm making a tool store for garden tools. <laughs> From all the all the timber that's come out of the house, <laughs> I'm recycling it rather than burning it. It looks amazing. It doesn't. It's, uh, it looks like a dog's dinner at the moment, but it'll look all right when it's finished. It's, no, it'll be fine. So, where are we going to put that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. So, uh, I'll collect all the garden tools up and we can just... Oh, that was the cupboard. That was the yeah, store. that was the cupboard, wasn't it? And the other one was the, is the generator store. Sure. So, so this is going to be our new tool store because everything else things. is just full to the rim. So we needed something that's easily accessible and but keeps everything dry. So it's good. This is really nice to see as well because this was all burnt to a crisp. But it's finally coming back. So I've got mint. In the back is oregano, lemon balm, lavender, and then I've got osteospermums, lavender, and uh, marjoram growing there. So I'm just really glad that it's all coming back because um, I miss my herbs and I thought they fried to death, but luckily not. Hey guys, it's um, it's Sunday afternoon, I think it's the 24th of October and in some ways olive season has begun. Some people have started harvesting. We haven't got many olives because A, um, our trees are hopelessly overgrown and they've just run wild for years. So um, they're not very productive and secondly there's been a kind of hailstorm just when the blossom was out here in Syria. So this whole area has sadly got very few olives in general actually. We were just talking about it the other day. So I'm actually beginning to sort the trees out. I'm, uh, I'm going to have to cut them back. We're, we've decided to actually be really radical. You can't, it, it's very hard to kill an olive tree. Um, so we've decided to cut back right down to the old wood um, so the trees can be reshaped and we can then um, begin again from the beginning kind of thing so we won't have any olives at all next year it all just needs to grow and then hopefully the year after we should have a good crop but yeah it's a it's an art and a science in itself and um, I'm just going to start cutting back all the suckers and then starting to cut them back to the crown so come with me
So today we find a pony that's come off its lead. Where are you from, hey? Where are you from? Come on. Where are you from? You need your um, lead on, mate. Don't go on the road. Ah, okay. We found where it belongs. We're just going to grab the lead and then take it from there. <laughs> I do wonder what it is with me and animals. I think I know why it's come here because it's all juicy and fresh green grass after the rains. So, um, but yeah, hey, we've got it secured because it nearly ran on the street and that was a bit scary. And now we're going to try and herd it back, um, but it doesn't want to go because it's having a feast here. <laughs> What's up, donkey? No, I can't see anything where he might have been tied up. I don't see a ring of where he's been feeding either, so yeah, it's a bit odd. But seeing the state he's in, he shouldn't be eating too much grass anyway, because he's quite fat. <laughs> so this is just another day in Greece. Now I've found a pony, or we have found a pony, wandering along the road. And it's obviously snapped its lead somewhere, so we're trying to find where it belongs. We're on the road to somewhere where we've been wanting to go for a long time, Limini. And Limini is about an hour south from us and it's a beautiful shallow bay and sometimes the turtles swim there and I'm hoping to get a glimpse of them today. I've been waiting to do this all this time, haven't I? Yeah. And we thought if we don't yeah. if we don't do it now, it's gonna start getting cold. I need to fly home for a couple of weeks as well to take Zeppo to Germany. Um, and we just kind of grabbed grabbed the chance and thought, right, let's go. So hopefully I'll have some footage later of some swimming of us, maybe with a sighting of See the turtle dough. So I'm super excited because um, the turtles are there. I don't know whether you can see them or there she is. So fingers crossed I can get a glimpse closer by.